Okay, guys, we're back to having intros to our VODs. Maybe, maybe it depends how good I am at, uh, at this. Uh, anyway, for today's video, it's pretty simple. I remember playing it and then at the end, uh, I had a feeling where, bro, like I'm just shit at micro and I know that I'm shit at micro and skirmishing and teamfighting, etc. But what I will show you through this game is like, it's gonna be very easy and the micro, like you, you can be shit just like me and have really good results as long as you make the good decisions. Um, I have a short about it that says that League is all about uh, having info, make a plan and then execute it. And execute it is just a third of it. It's like just the last part and that's the micro. But if you're good at taking info and making a plan, bro, like the micro is gonna be turbo easy. So yeah, I think I think this game was a good example of that. So hope you will enjoy it, and and that's it. I mean, I mean, I'm, I'm most I'm mostly recording this intro also to try to see if, how good I am at editing the intros and outros and shit. Um, anyway, guys, enjoy the video. I will see you at the end of it. Much love. <laughs> Hey guys, hope everyone's doing well. Day 3 of my high performance routine. First game on the main account. So this morning again, woke up, a healthy breakfast, cooked for my lunch actually. Um, so it's done, reviewed a game on my little notebook, played two games on Smurf, took a break, ate the fruit, and now we can solo queue. Um, Hmm. Just because of the ignite and the fact that I'm facing Jack's Sedge makes me consider D Shield. But I think I can go D Blade and just look to play better. D Shield can bail me out of bad trades and it's never bad and I will never be in kill range. And now D Blade will scale better. Um, will be stronger if I just play the game better overall. So yeah, I'm going deep late. So I'm facing Sejuani actually and not Jax. I thought it was the opposite, but it's not. Yeah, Jax jungle is actually pretty strong. We have a Trundle, uh, which I think is a really good pick into Sege. But again, it's not Sege jungle, but still like in team fights, he's gonna... Um, ult her and be pretty strong. Um... Let's see, mid lane we have two scalers. They scale really well. Um, Zillion plus Jax combo can look pretty scary. But I mean, Raze as well is pretty good into Jax and Sage. And he's gonna get free scaling, so I think I'm fine with that. Bot lane is Lucian. Lucian Rakan to Caitlyn Bard. Yeah, I mean, just play for bot and try to. Put one ahead, but their bot lane is probably gonna have the prior most of the time. Okay, I'm full fury and I'm getting the two now. So I can go for a couple autos. Okay, only missed one. Um. I'm gonna actually use this time to check their jungle. Okay, golems down. It means that Jax is full clearing. So he's pathing top to bot. And he should be on his walls right now. I'm gonna let the wave push to me and then probably look for an all in. Level 4. Pretty classic. Nothing new here. Okay, it's not trades, more HP. Just gonna contest the push so the wave is not too big. I can pot now. 
I'm actually gonna do something. I'm gonna E, but not auto her, because if I auto actually take the minion damage. And now I believe she's dead. I didn't need to ghost though. Can I panic ghosted? She doesn't have flash. Can my mind that I ghosted to be able to follow her flash? But she doesn't have flash, so that was pretty stupid of me. It's okay. Had the wave in a good spot. She used TP. TP, ignite. She has a brand, but now. It's fine for me. I can just press Q's outside of trades. Remember, is not actually a good item into trend. We got to kill Lucian. Grabs are spawning 36. I will have Pryo because the wave is now slow pushing to her. So if my Trindle wants to play them, I can. Yeah, Jax is, is back to top lane because... So both junglers are doing the same pathing. So if my jungler is back top, he's back top. But my jungler was a bit caught by um, the gank. Yeah, I can I can move. Just let me push that real quick. And then I'm moving. Yeah, that that's what I've been explaining in the video. I think it was. Two days, maybe three days ago. If you get the push and the crash on wave two, well, there's gonna be a bounce back, and after the bounce back, there's gonna be a bounce back, and on that bounce back, you will be able to play grubs. So if you can get the push, you want to get the push. Okay. Could have base, but I mean, I don't have a really good purchase for 500 gold. Oopsie, I queued when I was still under anti-heal. I pressed my ult, I just pressed it a tiny bit too late. It's a bit sad because I actually kill her. Not that I had the time to react, but I should have re-ulted, kind of. Uh, my bad, she was dead here. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It would have been so good, because she has no TP as well. It's okay, let's go next play. It happened. It did happen. Now I have an ult advantage. Maybe we can use that. We might even have a shot at taking a plate. One, two, three, not more. Again, we can still track Jax by tracking. A trundle basically. She has very fun items. Still, if I'm able to hit a million autos, it's gonna be fine. Kind of hesitating between staying or not. I mean, I have vision. Jax has no access that I cannot check. So I can take this, crush this, and this way, yeah, I see Jax now. I get a better base. Nice. Yeah, we managed to make up for a mistake. Uh...
so there's gonna be void grubs in a minute do we play six yes or no now i want my team to actually type it and say it if we're playing six because i don't know like i feel like teams are really stupid about void grubs hello hello okay So he said yes. Now we agree on. Like we now have a, a contract. But then. We need Reckon. We said we play them. We said we play them, right? So we're not playing Drake. So we shouldn't fight bots. And Reckon should just come, right? 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 Yeah, and Jax's spot. We get six. Really good, really good trade, baby. Nice. And now we have six grubs. Just gonna take this real quick. Yeah, Botlin just needs to be careful. Ah, she might have TP and just TP back. But I mean, I got her TP. Oh, that can sell my E. Oh. Well, not too bad, not too bad. Okay, I just hope that... I could have waited for Trendle, but I was just concerned that if I wait for Trendle, exactly, Jax, Jax just comes. It's still, it's still most likely worth it, what they just did. Could have done that better, though. I was looking to just, like, auto-E away, but I didn't time it with the turret, and then I got cancelled, and then I had to commit. Kind of panicked a bit, but it's still really good the way he's pushing to me. I get my Kraken now. She loses more XP and gold than me. And with the current build, I can actually kill her later, even if she gets really tanky. Also, I've seen that Freyze has actually pretty strong builds this patch. So... I think the state of the game is fine for us. Bro, this item is so cheap! Frozen Heart already, what the fuck? Ah, uh, they have vision, most likely. They don't. Wait, was she careful then? What is she respecting then? It's so weird. Okay, she's dead. Not to be the fan of the invade though, he doesn't have ult anymore. Yeah. Just get the plates. It's nice and safe. Yeah. Jack's coming. I can I can kill him. Is that never mind? I didn't. I didn't consider Zillion being there. I mean, I could have seen Zillion on on the map also because he appeared on the map, but I was like just so tunnel visioned on that on the checks. Uh, 
We have raised TP. Or ult. Now we're just giving Herald because Strader is showing bots. Uh, is it an ulted? Yeah, I need gold this game. My items are gonna matter a lot. They have vision here. They have vision here. There's a dragon 30. I cannot do much for now. I just want her not to move to Herald because I know they have vision. Okay, we need to play Drakes for now. And I missed two cannons in a row. An ally has been slain. At least even if she TPs I get T1 here. Because of grabs. Nice, nice, nice. We can get T1 as well, most likely. Okay, we still got the turret. We can make it charge, maybe. Oh shit. That's not how you do it. I mean, this was probably a bad idea still. Okay, I have Rage Blade now. I have Rage Blade. Let's see what's the state of the game. There's a Drake in 3 minutes that we want to play. We absolutely want to play this. Uh, I probably beat Sejuani hard on side lane. I just need time and space, but then I beat her. Um, also can beat Jax pretty easily. Uh, um, junglers are around the same spike. That is just a bit late in levels. Didn't realize that would hit. I think he didn't as well. Well, I don't really want to be facing Zidian though. But on the other hand, this item does nothing against uh, magic damage. It's it, like it gives no HP and no magic resist. It's only armor, and that's it. So I guess having 
having Grays face her isn't too bad. I mean, if he goes crazy and they subjects, that's another story, you know, but... This guy is hitting. I'm getting hit. I mean, I cannot just go here. They're fighting Sejuani first. Okay, maybe I can go now. I swear I flashed that. I, f I, I, I mean, I'm supposed to have flashed through the, the trap. Big misplay by me. No. Can probably still get this. Three. Plenty of gold. Okay. I need eleven hundred for Navari. Do they have a fast Nash? I mean, it's only Caitlyn. And Jax, kind of. Want to cancel her base or she can base TP. Okay, she's not basing. Shut down. Into I think she's dead here. I messed up, bro. I'm, I'm doing a lot of misplays this game. I could have just uh, hit the turret first. And I had all the time in the world to finish her off. Wait, that's a lot of vision. I am your worst nightmare. I don't really want to sell. This though. I can be fine with him going bot. Like he he melts uh, Sejuani. He has TP and I can still like be top to split for Drake. Threaten to just end the game. Okay, I'm pretty big now. Your worst nightmare. 
Chris doesn't have any ward to TP to low. Okay, I showed, but I cannot I cannot push. They're collapsing. Don't think we wanna engage that. Okay, we're doing Nash. If Jax is showing. Ah, oh, but Bart can ult and tempo. I don't like this. Or we do 50 50. Jax is still up though. At least no one has Nash. He stole it. This no one has it. I don't need you guys. It's really nice of you to come, but... Okay. So actually I realized something when I was doing my reviews and I was reviewing uh, Rangers games. So either review a competitive game or a Ranger game. And the thing that I realized is that Trindamir is kind of like Darius now. What makes Darius be really happy in fights is to stack his passive on on melees and then he finishes off squishes because he has been like giga damage with his passive. Trinomer is the same now because of Rage Blade. So I was looking to like I was just hitting the bar to stack my Rage Blade into going on, on their back lane. Jin is coming to me. Follow my blade. And we should just playing be playing for spikes. And and next objectives basically. Wait, trade kills. It's pretty nuts. Ashwin ghost as well. Getting her ghost was good enough. Then she doesn't have it for her next objectives. Oh, but keep hitting, no? Okay, unless. 
unless we auto the, <laughs> the inhib. Okay, okay, then they're being pretty good, but I don't think we should go that crazy when there's like nothing to play. But on the other hand, it was really tempting, like whenever you have Yinzu's stack like this. I don't know if, if, I, in, if I'm in that situation again, what should I do? Because a, a part of me wants to actually like just uh, run on her and be ready. Like I, I would use my ult, for example, I don't care and die. But then she used ghost and then whenever Drake is spawning, I have a ghost advantage. But then you could also say that like, look all we, all that we took we took like three turrets and inhib and we might end up winning the game but could this have been foreseen well i guess i could have seen that rice has a tp and he can come again uh what else could i see Like, I don't want just to tap, tap my shoulder and be like, yeah, I did that. That was such a nice play, you know. I want to be realistic and know that it was like a good thing to go for from the start. I'm going Drake straight. B, Nash, and... Yeah, now he's late because he took one camp. You can still take Nash. Nash, Nexus, GG. Don't force. They will have to engage. Yeah, game is most likely just one. Damage? What the fuck? Okay, I guess I am forcing. You did. Ah, oh, he flashed. What is my damage? Oh, okay, okay, okay. I didn't see that. She sold her items. She went only for magic resist. <laughs> Nice! Good game, good game. I mean... Some like pretty big. Was it mechanical mistakes or decision mistakes? Bit of both, you know. Uh, but overall, we are pretty focused. We learn. We learned as we are going in the game. Actually have something to review. Um, we managed to perform, to play for objectives. We got six grubs. Four drakes or three drakes? No, it was not soul. Yeah, we got like three drakes, six grubs, herald, nexus, Nash supposedly didn't end up getting it. Three honors. Yeah, I think it was a pretty good performance overall. Nice, and we're up 6k gold on Sejuani. Nice, nice. Okay, guys. Well, this one will be posted. So if you watched it so far, thank you so much for your support and for being there. Uh, feel free to join the Discord server. I'm, I'm, I'm going to try to make it more active and, and actually like use that server as a community place, you know. So feel free to join it. Uh, feel free to drop a like, a comment, a subscription uh, if you haven't already. And I will see you next time, which will be tomorrow, same time, same place. 
Until next time, guys, take care of yourselves. Take care of yourselves. We're gonna find a game in real life. I'll see you next time. Peace, guys. Bye-bye. Much love.